exhilarating. It was exhilarating. It was energizing. And if they weren't exhilarated by this, this challenge to the monopoly of violence, by this shifting of the balance of power, then they would not be human. Now it's gotten even worse. Graphic, homicidal, anti-Semitic posts, which we won't show here, were made on a university forum, threatening Jewish students at the school's kosher dining hall. Cornell Heller was forced to release this statement urging students to avoid the building out of an abundance of caution. And so I, I look at what's happened on, co on college campuses, Jackie, and we've heard over the course of the last five, six, eight years about college campuses wanting to create safe spaces and safe zones for yeah. their students. And therefore, you couldn't have the likes of Ben Shapiro or Charlie Kirk come to campus because that could threaten the safety of the kids on campus. They could feel insecure. But here you have Jewish students who actually are insecure. They actually are being threatened. threatened and actually. the school doesn't do a darn thing about it. It shows that they're not really, they're not really concerned about the safety of the students on campus. This was all about politics and shutting down conservative speakers because they didn't want their students to hear the other side of the story. Well, here with some reaction, Sean, we've got Cornell students and co-presidents of the Center for Jewish Living, Molly Goldstein and Jeremy Zarge. Good to have you both with us. Um, Molly, I'll go ahead and start with you because as an alum of Cornell University, when I hear those remarks from the professor, when I saw that post literally going after Jews on campus, my heart you know, just fell to pieces. It's horrible enough to see it happening on other campuses across the country, but I cannot believe that it's happening in Ithaca at Cornell. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for having us tonight. Our initial reaction was absolute fear. I mean, when posts are coming up on my phone about how people want to kill me and want to bomb my home and our home as a Jewish community, it's terrifying. And all we want is for people to know, you know, we want to be safe and we want to be heard. And we are grateful that the university is responding strongly. And Jeremy, so how have the students organized and fought back and pushed back against those who have made the threats? Yeah, so one of the things we're doing as a community is we're coming together. That's sort of what we see as the best way to counteract this hate is to come together as a community. The first week after, you know, the terrible, terrible incident, we had a, we hosted a vigil where over 750 students showed up. It was one of the most powerful moments I've ever experienced as a student, as a Jewish student, just seeing so many people come together. Molly, Governor Hochul was up there um, working with the university and local law enforcement and law enforcement or um, security on campus, I should say. Do you feel any safer now? Her undeniable devotion to the Jewish students at Cornell and of New York State and all Jewish people in New York State has made us feel much, much safer. We know that they are on the case and they're making sure that we get what we need. Yes. We couldn't ask for anything more. It's important that all leaders speak with one voice um, and, and condemn the hate. Um, Jeremy, uh, how has the, the, the Jewish community at large across the country responded to this? Have you had outreach? Have you had support um, from other uh, Jewish or Christian folks across the country that have wanted to stand with all of you? Yeah, so when, I, when, when everything was happening, I got so many texts from friends from family across the across the country, even even friends actually were in Israel texting to make sure that I was okay, uh, given the situation. Mm -hmm. And even within my own university, it was incredible to see the support of non-Jews, just friends who I had from class, from from clubs, just reaching out, making sure that I was okay, saying that if I wanted to spend the night somewhere, if I wanted someone to talk to, it was unbelievable to see the support. Wow, I'm glad to hear that because I think about that campus. I have fond memories there and thinking about what's happened and that people would feel unsafe, um, you know, sort of the Cornell experience, the college experience is so formative for so many people. They take that with them, Sean, you know, as they move forward in their lives. And, and for you to have to endure this aspect of it, it's just hard for me to sit here as an alum sort of looking back on that experience and imagine what this must have been like. Molly, Jeremy, you guys are very brave. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you.